excited are we, John, for a crab car collection? <laughs> Very excited indeed. Not far away now, a couple of minutes, and we'll cast eyes upon the next dreadful misery machine. Look at this, look what it is. It's a uh, Rover Streetwise. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> look at that. This then is the new purchase. And yes, it's a Rover Streetwise. <laughs> look at that, I always promised myself I'd own another Rover. And here we are. Yeah, she is very, very dirty. Basically, she's been off the road since 2020, I believe, when it's uh, last NCT expired. So we've got lots of organic material hanging around. Dead spiders, lots of cobwebs. Trusty companion John there has reconnected this battery. So we're going to give it a, uh, we're going to try and start it now in a second and see if she'll run. Look at the state of this. Goodness me. We've got a recovery truck on the way to pick her up because obviously you couldn't drive it. It's been sitting around for so long. Let's have a quick look inside. <laughs> Goodness me. Uh, best described as fresh, I think. Seats look okay though. They always go on the bolsters and on the, uh, on this kind of like this kind of leathery thing there. Center console all looks good. It's gonna need a flipping good clean though, obviously. But yeah, it's, uh, it's quite nice, isn't it? Let's try the back. Where we've got quite a lot of, uh, of, of issues in here. A lot of mould, a lot of horribleness, a lot of cobwebs. Got our own little spider colony living in here. But, oh, the, 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 there's a wasp. He's, uh, he's quite beefy. Look at him, flipping out. Right, we'll leave that door open so we can get out. There's the back of it. And uh, she's all good. Can we get into the boot? Uh, I know these can be a little temperamental getting into the boot. Uh, let's see, is that something we can do? That Oh, hang on. Yes, we're into the boot. And the boot looks all right. It's a decent, uh, decent size. Got some de-icer in there. Yeah, that's it. That's not bad. Not bad at all. What does she look like down that side? Haven't even obviously tried to open the doors or anything there. But initial impressions are... <sighs> quite good so that's all wonderful so will she start i don't think she's been started in easily three or four years let's try now completely dead completely and utterly dead right let's set uh, let's give it a jump then oh Oh, we have life, and with, she's on 79,441, which means she is minutes away from the dreaded head casket failure. Ooh. Oh, hazards work, hazards work, that's the most important thing. Clock's knackered, clocks always go on them, apparently. Electric windows, yes! <laughs> Good sign. Let's try this one. Better than the Cleo's windows. Oh, he's right. I like the windows there. Oh, oh. Yes. Well, that is wonderful news. <laughs> uh, but what isn't wonderful news is the fact that I can't seem to get this thing started. It's very strange, isn't it? We've had no luck with the old battery. I've popped in a replacement. So let's give it a go. Nothing. So John's going to reconnect that there. Uh, don't know what happened with that. We kind of got dashboard lights and then it just went completely dead. So uh, bear with us. Right, let's give it another go. Oh! Oh! She started! Oh, bloody hell! Yes! <laughs> there is a bit of knocking. Uh, Can you hear me knocking? Oh, look at the smoke. Yeah. That's all the fucking stuff. Is, yeah. She, John, John, she has started though. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is wonderful news. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that is, uh, that, that is my day made. Look at that. Jeez. 
she has started. Who said K series were bad engines? Yeah, she's is doing a bit of knocking, although she's actually calmed down a little bit there, hasn't she? Oil. Oil, yes, yeah, right. I'll turn her off. Let's uh, let's try some fresh oil. Oh, she starts up again. The drive home? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's really, really good news that she starts. So I suppose you better see if she actually drives then. Big down. Panel fitting, panel gaps, doesn't, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that, that's a lot of, that's a lot of climate change we're doing there. There's a new Pope. <laughs> you see, with with Rover K series, you usually used to seeing the white smoke coming from the front. But thankfully, none of that yet. There will be, but not yet. What are we looking like under there? Oh, we have a full size spare. It's probably the original, isn't it? Oh, Doesn't look too bad. Jack. I mean, as soon as you jack it up, it'll really go straight through the floor, but you know. That's all right, that's not bad. She's still... No, it's a wheelbarrow. Oh, is it it's a wheelbarrow yeah. wheel? Oh no, it's a space saver. Oh well. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> got, car, some, got some wildlife action going on here. This episode of Autumn Watch. Floors all look okay, uh, do they, John? Bit of moisture in here. Ah, that's okay, that's all right. We can, uh, we can sort that. We can sort that. <laughs> John, you have to, you have to, the, this was Rover at their most skint. You know, they, they spent the best, best part of the previous 20 years being, 40 years being massively skint. So this is skintness personified. Tyres look good, amazingly. The, the grab handles here are a known weakness. They always fall off. But yeah, apart from that though, all good. She does run. But does she drive? Let's try. Oh. Seized rear brakes, seized. maybe. Let me just try. There you go. There we go. It was the front. That's freed her up. Oh, yeah, she does drive. That's wonderful. That's my first ever drive of a Rover Streetwise. Brakes seem okay. You're a mentalist. <laughs> It's now John's turn to bring it for a very, very brief spin, forwards and backwards, pretty much. You're very brave putting your hand underneath that seat, John. I just left it. Oh, it's oh look at that! It's got a little uh, yeah, but I think that a little windy thing, like a little window winder for the seat. I think the seat's seized. Um, one thing which is a shame is it hasn't got the two individual seat at the back. It's got a bench, which is uh, I'm not massively annoyed about it, but you know it would have been nice to have the two individual seats and the bit of cubby space that went in the uh, in the middle on many of them. It does move though, as you can see, which is excellent news. What a car. Well, one of the jets is working, that one over there. The uh, This driver's side one isn't, but you know, we'll put a needle down that and sort it. 
look at that. Lots of leaves and three or four years worth of rubbish. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, look, look, look at the insects. It's got its own ecosystem. John, this is the greenest car I've ever bought. Oh, you have an aux. I've got an aux cable as well, wow. 2004, rolling with the times. Look at that. Right, at least it's quiet. Brilliant. Radio works. Uh, let me get rid of some of this other crud. Look at that, the most recent N NCT are over streetwear. There's insects bloody everywhere. Right, let's get rid of some of this. Sorry to rehome all the innocent. Yeah, it's the same on me 306. I just haven't bothered looking at it, so that'll be easily fixable. Wonderful. Remarkably, the Rover is still running and we're coming up to temperature as well, which is good. Wait for that to skyrocket. Uh, let's try the blower. Now, this is going to be horrendous and it's going to blow cobwebs everywhere. So, uh, speed one, can't feel anything. Uh, oh, that's because we're not on the right setting. Uh, which one are we? Put it to the feet. <laughs> it's not all over you. Look, John, how awful is that quality? Look, there's no oh, stop on yes. it. <laughs> I know that the heater resistors blow on these, as in die. Yeah. So it might only work on number four setting. Oh, it works on three. Oh, there we go. We got air coming out of these ones now, thanks to that little thing there. Oh, it stinks. Yeah. Oh, look at it blowing the cobweb. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that isn't good. Oh, Jesus, that smells. That smells really bad. No point at me as if I even... <laughs> oh, that is less than pleasant. Look at the condensation in the clocks. What? The condensation in the clocks, look. Oh, <laughs> Bloody hell. Got an adjustable steering wheel. That works. Oh, oh yeah. That's good. Yeah, so am I. Actually, a little coin slot there. Yeah. Listen, look, she needs work, but things are going okay at the minute. Okay, I think the plan then is to... we got some driver gloves here. Look at that. It's wonderful, isn't it? I think the plan is to leave it here for a bit, wait for the recovery man to arrive, and we're going to grab some lunch. So we'll pick this up later on. We are back now with the Rover and we're hoping that the recovery people will be here very, very shortly. So we've had a bit of lunch and uh, there's my little mate, the Wasp again. Uh, and we've started her up. Could please get out, Wasp. Thank you. And no smoke from the back anymore. Oh, no, a little bit there, but it's a lot cleaner than it was. And she's idling well, she seems to be running absolutely fine. The temperature needle, when it finally warms up, sits slap bang just underneath the middle, as it should do. So yeah, uh, it's all right. I think it's gonna be okay. Uh, it just needs to clean before we do anything else because it's pretty horrible in all places. Look at that. Got a very impressive carpet of cobweb up there, which is mighty impressive. Uh, we didn't get a good look at this side earlier on because it's parked up against the hedge, but a uh, little bit of superficial damage here on the door and the wing. That'll, uh, that'll straighten out with a bit of a hammer. Bit of a bit of an issue here on the bonnet, but again, that'll hammer out. Yeah, oh, she's all good. She's all good. So uh, we await recovery. Recovery is in progress. And we are good to go. There she is. There is the new crapper. I've got a state of that. At least the wind should blow all of the levy detrius off, as we can already see. Look at the leaves coming off it. Speed. <laughs> at the speed of the motorway, I'd probably blow the plastic trim off it as well. <laughs> the Rover.
rover is home and of course it's too dark too cold too damp to do any kind of mean while filming or any worthwhile filming should I say but it has made it home on the back of a pickup truck that left not too long ago I've just brought her out for a very 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 quick drive just to make sure she is at least running and taking over which she is so I uh, will get started tomorrow with the work get the power washer out give it a good clean which is the first thing to do and then start I suppose looking after her mechanically but the first step of the process actually getting her home has been completed so we will carry on with all things Rover Streetwise in the morning I am now attempting to get out of the Streetwise um, well the, the lock's down there we go but the door doesn't seem to want to let me out uh, which is a bit of a problem as you can see there it is unlocked uh, and this door works there we go so uh yeah um that's that's not ideal is it oh oh there we go yeah finally finally got out there yeah not great <laughs>